Hi and welcome to Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, we're on the Boston Sprinter for Trinity World 2 rush hour uh, and we're taking a service to Reedville from Boston. It's uh, MBTA Franklin service number 745. It's a six car train, 460 tons, 160 meters there or thereabouts and we're in the F40 PH3C. So without further ado, let's get this train ready to depart. So we're loading the passengers up and we're going to now get this train all set up and ready to go. I'm not going to go into too much details about what I'm doing. Headlights on, step lights on, gauge lights on. Put marker lights off, rear marker lights on, put number lights on. There we go, we are now ready to depart. So, another 9 seconds or so, we'll probably be a little bit late. Uh, 10 miles an hour as we're leaving the station. Oh, I've not got my safety systems on. We have now. That was near, that was too close for comfort. And away we go. Not rushing. Ten miles an hour is plenty. It's five p.m. Or 1700s if you aren't North American. Uh, 10 miles an hour to begin with. And we've got the rain on. We've got a lot of rain on. So I'm using a rain mod. This is the first mod I've actually downloaded. Uh, it's from London Midland. I'll put the link in the comments. Uh, it makes a massive difference. I'm absolutely in love with this very mod. It destroys your visibility. Uh, as it should do, really. So, I'm sure you agree, it looks so much better. And I love it. Absolutely love it. It's the first mod I've downloaded, I think I've definitely downloaded more mods. So it really does add a bit to the game. Sounds much better. It looks better, like 15 miles an hour now. This is heavy rain setup. This is about as rain as it's going to get. Over speeding. As soon as we bring it down below 16 miles an hour, we get a speed increase.
doesn't work. I don't have agility braking on this train. Definitely really a hell of a lot smoother. Right, oh, and this is Boston Back Bay. So we're running rather early at the moment, so we're just going to post it up to the stopping point. And get some passengers loaded up, because that's what we're here for, to take passengers. So we're going to Veeville. Uh, so the next stop is Ruggles. Hyde Park and then we so we've only got four stops. Uh, this is quite a long one for Readville. Most Readville runs are about 15 16 minutes. This is 22 minutes. So I'm wondering why. Probably because of the long station dwell times. So come on, finish loading up, and then we can get moving. We might as well have a little wonder around it. Mm -hmm. Have a look up close and personal with it. Right, let's have a look. Let's get back on board. Close the door and open the windows. Because I, I like getting wet. Right, we're going to lock the old doors now. And away we go. Ruggles is on next station, only a mile away. It's a long mile. Because until we actually get around this bend, we're not actually starting to head towards Ruggles at all. By the time we've actually even thought about getting up to speed, we'll be slowing down again. Ninety. That's a joke. So like I say, we're now slowing down again.
Right, we've got that about on time. Stopped a little bit shy of where I should have stopped me, if I'm honest with you. Should have stopped a little bit further along the platform. Don't think it's made any great changes in the grand scheme of things. No, well on the platform. It's not that much of an issue. Customers are loaded. Doors are locked. And on we go. To Hyde Park, six miles away. It is relatively straight, so as long as I don't get any signaling issues, I should be alright, if I'm honest. I'm just going to knock my wife this down a bit, see if she's calmed down a bit. Right, we've got four and a half minutes to do five miles. We have to get a shift on, aren't we? Because I'm lagging behind a bit. Max speed this set train is 80, other line speed is 90, my max speed is 80. Well the coach is at max speed is 80. It's be more accurate. So we're doing 45 now. So the dream of getting there on time has really collapsed. If I'm honest with you.
because we're driving with 30. Two miles away from a red light, I think. So we're just trucking along at 30 miles an hour. Still one and a half miles, so that's three minutes really. The speed. So I'm going to be three minutes late. The one and a bit minute late. Not a great deal to look at the moment. We're just going to carry on trucking along 30 miles an hour in heavy rain to Hyde Park. But we're going to be more than just three minutes late getting there. Yeah. Three we're going to be about two and a half minutes late, I reckon. No, it's 20 miles an hour. So maybe we are going to be three minutes late after all. Well, this is Hyde Park here. We're not a million miles away. Here we are. Three and a bit minutes late. And the worst thing is we've still got three miles an hour when we finish.
Mill Dolls. Oh, we can do theft, you know? Here we go, 30 miles an hour, high speed running in the US of A. It's going to be the fastest track in the USA this section. I can't get over 30. Right, we've got 30 coming up, you know, we're already doing 30. At the moment, I'm only actually one minute late. And here we are, Reedville, where we are going to leave this train. And in fairness, we are only about two minutes late. So I will take that, considering everything I will take two minutes late with the signaling still not fixed just make that clear signaling still not fixed there is definitely a lack of um, updates about Boston uh, does tell them very quiet about it. Very, very quiet about it. Uh, so I'm not convinced it's going to ever get fixed in the monitor here. But it is still an enjoyable route. So there we go. Happy days. We've got silver. But that's because of the signaling. I can't do anything about it. Uh, the only speed limit I got was there. Oh, got a speed there as well. Too keen on the old acceleration. Um, so we're up to level 98, nearly at 99. Uh, level 17 for the F40. Level 15 for Boston Sprinter. 5,000 XP, that's not too bad. I'll take that. 25 minutes to do 10 miles. That's shocking, isn't it? 
absolutely shocking anyway i've been red rev 1917 if you enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up uh, and please if you want to see more please feel free to subscribe uh, it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe to a youtube channel you know it's completely free there's no limit to how many you can subscribe to so please just give us a subscription uh, if you want to get notified of when youtube videos go up press the notification button um, and they'll notify you whenever I upload a new video uh, or when I go live um, I do do some live streaming as well uh, but anyway I've been Red Rev 1970 until next time thanks for watching take care